Here comes a storm Here comes a storm What is up, Scar Knight bringing you Let's Play Pokemon Emerald version episode 50! And we made it to the landmark of episode 50, and that's really crazy to know that we've been through such a long journey, and all these episodes are like 45 to 50 minutes long, and sometimes, you know, they were less than that. But other than that, I, got, I gotta say, like, just looking through all the series of Pokemon related stuff I did, like Pokemon Yellow and Crystal, Pokemon Yellow, I ended off the entire city, uh, series with like 50, or no, uh, 65 episodes and crystal version if you remember uh, we started going to the elite four at episode 65 so um, yeah it's really crazy to think uh, it might this series might be over in like 15 episodes we might be headed in the beginning of victory road or uh, challenging the elite four by episode 65 so there's not many episodes left so I'm looking forward to finishing the series off for you guys other than that, in the last episode, we took care of the normal rank, super rank, hyper rank, and master rank contests with the king of contests, Claydol, and also took care of other things. Well, not really other things. I was going to say the episode before that, we departed with our, uh, one of our team members, which was Berloom, who now we have Vulpix in our party. And I'm going to try to start off the episode right by saying this much. We are going to go Evolver right off the bat, and luckily, um, it's not a guy, because I usually tend to have girl characters, and I give them boy names. Now, I thought that in my head, like, what if I get a boy Pokemon, I have to give it a girl name, but no, it's, it's a girl Pokemon with a girl name, and we're going to start this episode the right way by giving this Pokemon a Firestone, make certain species of Pokemon evolve, so let's go do this thing right off the bat. Congratulations, your Wendy evolved into Ninetales. Alright. And, uh, yeah, in the last episode, it was a Thanksgiving special, and uh, it turned out that, like, I, I recorded that earlier, and, and uh, when I actually celebrated Thanksgiving, it was actually really, really nice. I, I, I'll tell you more about it later throughout the, the episode and such, and hopefully I didn't demean the Thanksgiving holiday but that's just how I felt at the time you know when I just noticed other things like radio stations and advertisements stuff like that hopefully I didn't demean it for you guys and uh, lose a little value for your Thanksgiving and uh, you know such like that but I'll tell you guys more about it throughout the episode other than that I did say in like episode 48 that I was gonna go progress through Pokemon Emerald by Lily by leaving Lily Cove and going to the ocean and as you can see I'm in front of a trick house because since I beat the sixth gym and we have two more gym badges left there's a trick house challenge available for us and if you remember since the last time we did trick house challenge it only lasts us for like 10 minutes so um, really not that much um, not not too much trick house so i will say i can promise you guys we will go progress and go towards the ocean and go towards the seventh gym badge area so let's just get started on this episode 50 i can't believe it oh my gosh you're being watched oh jeez. okay well there's no more sparkly so i think you're in here ha ah, grr how did you know i concealed myself in this planter why do you call it planter? What is it? A fake plant? What's wrong with you? You're sharp. You, you come to challenge my trick house, haven't you? That's why you're here, isn't it? Yes, it is. Consider your challenge accepted. Enter through the scroll there and let your challenge commence. I shall be waiting in the back. All right, I guess he's gonna be waiting in the back, but we're gonna go through here, and uh, we're gonna see that. Well, first off, Ruby and Sapphire version. This whole thing is shaped as a question mark and they changed it in the emerald version for some reason now there's two exclamation points 
I don't know why. It's it's a questionnaire, as you can tell already, because there's these machines. They won't battle you, um, even if you get the question. <clears throat> Oh jeez, that voice crack. Even if you get the question wrong, you just start over in the entrance. You just keep going and going and going. And sometimes they change your questions and sometimes they don't. You just have to bear with them. But I, I was hoping to battle them, but I don't. It's kind of a shame. So let's just go over here. I kind of want to just get the questions wrong so I could just battle them, but that's not an option. So, uh... <clears throat> Clickety-clack, Mecha Doll 1, am I? If you answer quizzes correctly, then you will go to Mecha Doll 5. Then you can obtain the secret code. Mecha Doll 1 quiz. One of these Pokemon does not use Leech Life. Which one is it? Uh, I know for a fact Zubat does, and we had an Inkata who did have Leech Life, so it has to be Dust Tox. Congratulations, correct you are. Go through, please. Alright. Let's go to question number 2. So yeah, as you can see, the base of the exclamation points here, and there's the other one on the right. Anyway, clicky, uh, la, 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 la. clickety clack, Mecha Doll 2, am I? Mickey Doll, Mickey Doll, Mecha Dolls 1 quiz difficulty level is set to low. Mecha Dolls 2 quiz, which one of these Pokemon are chasing Professor Birch? So Poochian is Ruby and Sapphire. Shroomish is like Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire after you like beat the game or something like that. And Zigzagoon is Emerald version, so let's get Zigzagoon. Congratulations, correct you are. Go through, please. Maybe I shouldn't evolve Opix too soon. Maybe I should have done it, but like I said, I wanted the episode to start the right way. So yeah, clickety clack. What's in the bag? Jay here. Mega Doll 3. Am I? Matters of money are my sole focus. Mega Doll 3 quiz. Which costs more? 3 Harbor Meals or 1 Burn Heal? 3 Harbor Meals or 1 Burn Heal? If harbor Meals are like $50. I think Burn Heals are like 200 So I'm going to say Burn Heal. Congratulations, correct you are. Go through, please. Alright. And this is actually where the scroll is, and we have to go here. Hopefully we don't mess up, because I literally don't want to go start over and over and over. Critically clack. Mega Doll 4. That is me. My... Quiz is an object of beauty. Make it all four quiz. In the trainer school, how many girl students were there? Oh god, I have no clue. Uh okay, I really need to think hard here. There has to be girls there. Why would they what what it, it's not none. I don't think there's just one girl. I feel bad for that poor girl. Um I see I remember the two guys that were like trading. There was that one guy making notes. I think there is just one. One? Congratulations, correct you are. Go through, please. Oh my gosh, that poor girl surrounded by all these guys. Well, at least it's like elementary, I'm assuming. So, yeah, Sam found a scroll. Oh my gosh. Sam memorized the secret code written on the scroll. Yeah, the reason I thought it was one girl, or like, visualize it in my mind, is because I can't really think of any main girls in there. There has to be at least one. Clickety-clack, Mega Doll 5, am I? The Master's best and proudest achievement, am I? Wow, he's so modest. Mega Doll 5 quiz. In Fortree City, how many tree houses were there? Oh. Okay, okay, this one I need to think some more. I think there's like two in the bottom row? Because there's like two rows. And then there's like the other sets. There has to be six of them, right? I think there's six. Congratulations, correct you are. Go through, please. Yeah, because I had a feeling like there's the two bottom ones. Like the bottom left is like they sell furniture. And then the right one, or maybe... I don't know. And then like, there's there's more trees on the top because you have to pass through the gym. So that's how I figured. Alright, well we did it. I, I was hoping for battles, but... Oh well. Trickmaster is genius! Uh, the clock... <laughs> the clock? The clock. The clock lick open! Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. That's what I said. Heck, you made it to me. Hmm, you're sharp. It took me all night to make mecha dolls and another to think up the quiz. Dude, you should, like, make money off of this. If you can make mecha dolls, you can make, like, overnight? Are you serious? He could be a scientist creating all night stuff and, I don't know. Alright, you're all you're almost my equal to the grades by one, two places. Fine, you have earned this reward. And we obtained TM12, which I'm not familiar with, so, yeah. Scrub that smug smurf off your face! 
It's much too early to think you won. I'll make new tricks to stump you. I will make... Uh, you may mock me only when you're done. Come back for the next exciting installment of... Uh, Yokai Watch, I guess. I don't know much about that show, but people keep saying it's the new Pokemon, and I disagree, dang it! But, uh, anyway. Uh, I, I don't know what's inside TM whatever. Oh, Taunt, okay. Um, I still have Ice Beam and it bothers me. Oh, by the way, I need... Wait, who can learn Shadow Ball, actually? Shadow Ball's an, an amazing move that's physical. Garrison can't... Oh, but it is physical. Oh my god, this is... Mm. Oh, I must. I have to. Why wouldn't I? No, but you have, you probably have... What, what moves do you have? Psybeam is not good for you, so I'll get rid of Psybeam. Hopefully you're not required to learn any other moves. If you remember, Berloom was our strength user, and I wanted to give it to Garrison anyway. That, that's what I planned in advance before getting Garrison. I want to give Shockwave to um, Electro, just in case there's double teamers. You could also learn it, man. It's the normal types. I swear, they learn everything. But just in case there's like double teamers, I know there's two Thunder moves, and I shouldn't do that. Um, Thunderbolts, and then Spark, and the Shockwave. Even though it's weaker... Shockwave will benefit us greatly. And Sonic Boom, just in case... I, I don't know. There's not much to do. But, yeah. Uh, who could learn Sludge Bomb, actually? Sludge Bomb's an excellent poison move. If there was fairies, then they would have the run for their money. So, yeah. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much it for the Trick House. That's, that wasn't even 10 minutes. Or maybe it was. Was I running into the wall? I was looking at my timer when I said that. Um, but yeah, I, I just found out recently, like, when I was, uh, catching up in Sapphire version, trying to get to, uh, Lily Cove and such, that, um, if your bag is full, and the, the guy will leave, but if you come back while he's building a place, he will actually give you the item right there, um, and when, the way I found that, I was ready for the next Trick House challenge. So while he was rebuilding, he's like, okay, well, here's your item. And then you leave and go, come back in. The next Trick, uh, trick House challenge is ready for you. So it's kind of interesting. I don't think I need to go here. Yeah, I don't... Well, I'll just heal anyway, just in case. Because I don't remember if I use any PP PowerPoint. Um, so yeah. I kind of feel bad for not giving a pokey block to that one girl on the left, so I think I might do that just because I'll I'll just give one pokey block, just one. I'll make a smart one specifically for her. I don't know if she'll give us anything. I'm assuming yes, because why would she do that? So I I'm kind of wasting time to be quite honest with you, but um I I just feel bad. I really do. Um. Let's go give her a smart category one because I'm not going to the smart category anytime soon. I'm going to check tag. Let's go give her, uh, isn't, isn't, is sour, sour's toughness, right? I don't remember. Bitter, I, I'm assuming is smart. Yeah, I'll give you an agua of berry. Okay. How about that? I only have one, so you should you should feel good, all right. And you're all these other people are just mixing in berries. They don't even know what they're doing. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I won all the contests in the world, kind of. All right. Well, I can't press circle on time for some reason. Uh, it's going faster. It's going faster. It's going faster. I'm doing this for the iron hard, not for the. Uh, Okay. Or did I do it? Well, I got first place because nobody else did anything. Lassie. Well, Lassie got second, so it's not bad. Anyway, we got ourselves 23 and field 21. I I'm not 100% familiar with what what field is. I just know that I I care about the first number more. Is what I mean. Maybe the field is like how much they will benefit from this. But yeah, I'm not too familiar with uh, all that, so yeah, Ironheart. Ig -ig -ig. I'm the contest lady. I sure do no contest. This is my friend Ironheart. It's the every time of smartness, but I think they will display even more smartness. So I need your help. Please, may I have one pokey block? All I ask is for one. All right. Well, we'll give you the light blue one. Apparently, I thought that was just primary green, but I guess not. Yeah, thank you. I feel better. Your pokey block right away. 
what? Oh, he's jumping. Is that good? Oh yeah, it's really delighted. I think I really approve Ironheart's smartness quality too. Thank you so much. It's it. Are you? Is that it? Is is, is that it? There's joy. There, there's joy. <laughs> Nothing. What what does that do? Oh, thanks for Pokeblog before. Y you're welcome. All right, I that's a waste of time. All right, well, uh, besides that pointless whole thing, I'm a bobber. We're gonna just go forward and surf outside beyond the one place because the guy is no longer there. I think I already said that before. But uh, yeah, no more Wilmers. We're just gonna go forward and uh, we're gonna battle people along the way. But since it's the ocean routes, it's gonna be very, very, very just my gosh. <laughs> I don't know, it's gonna be very labyrinth. I'm growing bored of swimming! Uh, how about a battle? Here I am swimming by my lonesome on this wide, beautiful sea. There's no other words for it. This is pathetic. What? I must have read that wrong. I'm so confused. Why is this. Are you talking about me? Are you talking smack? He's got Meryl and a Gyarados. Wait, does the does the speed Mr. Speedos over there had the thing or or what? Or they're gonna drop my attack, which is fine because I wasn't. I don't know. This is actually bad. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't. I can't do anything about these guys, and they're level 34, so they're adequately leveled. I have to switch out into who. Let, let's go with the electrode, and I don't even know what to hit you with. I'll hit. I'll hit Meryl with the mud shot. How about that? Because I'm not sure. I'm not too sure. Hopefully, we make it to the next destination in the next episode. Because I don't know. Gyarados over here is kind of frightening, but he's not gonna do much. He could drop all the defense all he wants. He's got a water gun us. That was meant for... It wasn't right, but it was meant for Ninetales. Those jerks! How dare they! Anyway, it's not good for Ninetales to battle anybody in the ocean anyway, because, you know, they're gonna try to kill her with water moves. But I got no choice. I have to train her somehow. I mean, I could go in the Pokenap, but then we're going to be overleveled because eventually we're going to pass through here anyway. Because this is a required double battle. We can't do anything about it. But that's it for Grace and Declan. We're defeated. I had no idea that you were this strong! I'm feeling blue. Blue as the sky. Oh, you're so poetic. Mr. Speedos. I don't know. I felt like he was talking smack or something. I don't know. Something. Something pertained to that. I think I might have to put a super repel or something. I don't know. Well, no, it's fine. Um, even though you're really, really, really sp specially bulky, I'm gonna just flamethrower you anyway. I, I'm just about basically more than. Oh god, you took that so well. I know that he's water type and all, but I figured that it would kill. It's halfway though. It's a two shot. At least. Uh, Miss Tentacle over here didn't poison me. I really do want to put a super repel, but at the same time, I just I, I just need to go. Gosh! Battle these Pokemon. All right, Wingle. Okay, well, Wingle isn't especially bulky, so I should take care of this no problem. I just really want Wendy to catch up to the rest of the Pokemon. And I need to do research on the 8th gym, because like I said, I have a plan for their levels and how to stay adequately level perfectly, so it's like I went through the game and such. Oh, look at this thing. Alright. Hey! Are you lost at sea? If you can beat my Pokemon, I could serve as your pilot! Really? I hope you're telling the truth, dude. Is another Mr. Speedos here. Swimmer Spencer would like to battle. 
level 33, so if the other tentacle level 18 took that, I stand no chance against this tentacle, so might as well switch out. I'll just keep using Cartman meanwhile. Anyway, so I wanted to talk about the whole Thanksgiving thing, and uh, yeah, basically uh, I recorded that earlier, so you know, when I was able to post that hour special, you guys would see it on time and such but yeah uh what i did pretty much because i already talked about what i did in the past and i would visit family with the uncle that was younger than i am um but uh well recently well it was last year where we we didn't visit them because uh my young uncle has a girlfriend now and they're getting serious so um that's pretty much the reasoning why i didn't even i, I was gonna switch into night and switch out but yeah yeah, uh, they're getting serious, so we can not spend time with them because she lives in, uh, she lives with them pretty much. So, uh, we went to, to you know, I don't remember who we visited, but for this year though, um, since we couldn't visit family, my mom's friend invited us to go there. So I had to drive my mom to, to a family I don't. I never seen before and uh, yeah my mom called me over so I could you know drop her off there and I, I wasn't really feeling it that much but it was it was actually really nice though it was a lot of kids it was a whole bunch of kids I'm I'm usually quiet when I'm going to other places anyway but uh, it was so enjoyable uh, what I did mostly was sit on the couch and eat chips and played on my 3DS till it died. I forgot to bring my charger, but um, there wasn't really many people to talk to. You know, I was I'm like like I said, I'm quiet and I'm shy and stuff, so I don't really socialize very much. Um, but yeah, it's level 35. My gosh. But yeah, it was it was it was really nice either way because when it came to dinner time. Um, you know, my mom knows I'm a picky eater and stuff like that, and the f I think she told the family that I was also a picky eater, so they understood and they gave they're the one that gave me chips. So I was, I was it was really nice of them because most of the time when I'm when I'm like you know having dinner time. So like I said, the whole reason why I don't like Thanksgiving in the first place is because of the food. It's is usually um, you know the turkey is like the iconic thing. All right, are you gonna battle? If you just float in the sea like this, Pokemon come around to play. Um, but yeah, that's mostly the reason why I don't like Thanksgiving because you just have to eat stuff, and uh, it, it was really nice to know that they were understanding, and you know, I don't have to eat or something. I'm gonna confuse Rayu. And I do believe that Wilmer has an ability where it prevents to get burned, so will o -Wisp isn't the answer. I'm pretty sure I could take him out, because Wilmer tend to like to roll out, and not much water gun. So, let's see if Wendy could do this. I feel like he can. Um, but yeah, when it comes to like parties and stuff like that, I never uh, eat any of the food that are on the table, because they're just something I'm not into. And... Um, because of that reason, I don't really, I don't know, I don't really go to parties because of that reason. And, uh, I don't know why I'm trying to think so hard about this. Hopefully, oh my gosh. But yeah, you see what I'm saying? Basically, I, whenever there's a, a, a party that, you know, the you know who the people that cook this food instead of just buy it off the bat they get offended if you don't eat their food so that's another reason why I don't go oh darn I got lost alright it's only on a whim but maybe I'll get you to register me in I don't know what the other guy said because he said he was gonna be my pilot or some some nonsense I kinda wanna go back just to talk to him but I'm not gonna do that so let's see where is I need to remember to uh, put that full restore in the thing, so let's go put that there. Alright, well we ended up killing that one thing. Oh, great, Pokemon. It's another tentacle, the Zubat of the Sea. The, um, 
there's another Pokemon. Zubat, Tentacle, and... I don't know. This one's level 6, though. Quick Attack should kill it. Maybe I should be quick attacking these level 18 Tentacles instead of flamethrowing it or resist and move and such. Alright. What's on this thing, anyway? There has to be an item here, right? Hang on. Let me... This looks suspicious. Um, not Pokey Block Case. Where is the item finder? Nope, nothing? Alright. Oh, look, there's a house down there. Interesting. Let's see what's inside here. What is this house? Hunter's house. Oh, jeez. Alright, let's go inside. Hey, man. I'm the diving treasure hunter. I'm the awesome dude who makes deep sea dives together, treasures resting at the bottom. You haven't got any treasures for me. If you see any shards, like the red shard you got to trade with me... Wait, I, I read that wrong. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You got to trade it with me. Okay. That's that's what I thought. I don't like misreading stuff. Um, it's still Route 124. Uh, at least I believe it's the same route regardless. Um, there's a lot of dive spots here. And now we're in Moss Deep City already. Oh, jeez. I thought this was going to be a little bit farther, but it turns out it is no. It is no. Um, but yeah. All right. Um, I should be quick attacking these guys. The ten, this tentacle in particular should already have um bubble beam, so I need to be wary on that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It was really nice because uh they were you know they were they were understanding about my whole picky eating thing, and my mom uh she was like because there was other people. To that she she sometimes like have a like a mini hobby it's not what she mostly does but uh, she likes reading people's hands to see what their past and their future is and it's surprisingly really accurate so it's really cool but yeah we're here in Moss Deep City and all I'm gonna do is heal and move upward because there's actually a route on the top and I still need to train my Pokemon just a little bit we will explore Moss Deep City and I know we're about headed for 30 minutes so yeah, I'm gonna go break the episode right quick because, like I said, we're coming up in 30 minutes, so be right back. Alright, we're back. <laughs> you guys probably didn't even know the difference, but uh, I want to go to the route up top here because we still have just a little bit more time, and we didn't really do much. We literally just answered questions and like had three battles, and that's not really progress to me. Even though we did make it to the next town, we are now in Route 125. Let's just take care of a little bit of trainers. There should be like five battles out here. Ahoy! I'm buff! Tough sailor! I brave the world seas! Um, but yeah, uh, another thing about the whole Thanksgiving thing. Um, yeah, my mom likes uh, like having psychic cards and telling your past, present, and future. And... Uh, you know that type of stuff and reading people's hands and there's like I said it's surprisingly accurate so it's really cool to see that people are like oh my gosh how you do that so yeah and uh, it's, it's really cool and a lot of people seem to like my mom at that place at the party so it, it was really cool and stuff and um, me being redundant and all that um, yeah, it, it, it was really warm to see how close the, ba the the family was. So hopefully you guys spend your Thanksgiving right. Um, if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, just say what you did for your day, I guess. I don't know. Say... Well then. I guess you just gotta kill my... Nine tails. Well, let's 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 rewind one second. So you mean to tell me? Oh, but it's guts boosted, isn't it? <laughs> That's probably why. But I was gonna say, you mean to tell me that? Do I not have revives? Oh, I do. It's nine revives. That I I I was able. A fire type Pokemon was able to kill a water type Pokemon. But a fighting type Pokemon that's neutral end up killing my nine tails. Okay, that's cool. But I guess it makes sense since you're burned and everything. Uh, I didn't even... I flamethrowered you and you got burned, so... Oh well. Let's just surf you, I suppose. You're probably using revenge or something. You used foresight, didn't you? 
some nonsense. Alright. Wendy's gonna get most of the experience anyway. I feel bad that I ended up killing her. So, Muddy Water's the signature move of Cartman. Except it's not worth it, to be honest. Even though it's 95... Oh, it's 95 power? It's really inaccurate, though. It's kind of ironic because it says may lower accuracy. Um... I mean... There's no real point. I might as well just get rid of Water Gun just for, you know, if I want to mix it up or if I ran out of surfs or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I really had a nice time uh, with that family. And, um, you know, it was really nice. Resister me in your Pokénav and I'll tell you something good. And Sailor Ernest is in the Pokénav. Speaking of, let's see, I really want to face a Gym Leader someday. I want to rematch Gym Leader, but uh, unfortunately Roxanne is not available. Uh, of course, all these other people are, and I'm not gonna, I'm not about that. I'll battle them once I, I don't know, once I need to level up, I guess. If I feel like I have to. Not anytime soon, though. Is there any? Oh, there's a person right there. Alright, let's try to catch her, and hopefully no Pokemon will pop up. Let's just go right here and wait. Wow. What a U-turn. <laughs> How would you like to trade on the water type Pokemon I raised? Oh, it's not trade. What the heck? What I got trade from? It's take. How would you like to take on the water type Pokemon I raised? Well, um, let's see them, I guess. Sharon, I didn't even heal her Pokemon, or heal my Pokemon. Um, we don't have that much health, but Seeking tends to have flying type moves. Hopefully it doesn't have water pulls, because I do believe you could teach water pulls or surf. Fury attack, okay. Two times, please. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna confuse Rayu, just in case you do have a water type move for me. Um... Other than that, uh, I haven't talked about Pokemon types in a while. Last time I talked about fighting type Pokemon, and I didn't even finish my thought on them. But uh, all I mean to say for the fighting type Pokemon, they tend to be physical Pokemon, and there's like a couple of uh, special, you know, fighting Pokemon like Lucario, and um, there was another one I had it in my mind, and I really don't remember it. I'm gonna flamethrower it because it'll do more damage than a quick attack. I'm confused. What? How am I? Oh, he's supersonic. Oh. It's a confused battle. Uh. There's Ducario. And then there's. Oh, I don't remember. Delayed's physical. I don't know. There's, there's one out there. I just can't remember at the moment. But yeah, let's go keep flamethrowering. Hopefully we could kill the Sea King. He shouldn't have any water type moves. It's a critical hit, which is really nice. Which means it's not going to do anything. Fury attack. Please hit two more times. Just two. Just the two. Please. Just two. Oh, that's three. Oh, that's four. Oh, that's a crit. Okay, good. At least he didn't do that. Alright, quick attack should kill. Alright, cool. And we finished off um, Sharon right here. Lost it! Alright, cool. I do believe I faced everybody so far. If not, I'm gonna probably swim down just to see. I'm running out of super potions, but we're not too far off from town, so it's no big deal. <clears throat> there should be like four other battles left. I might have said something else. Oh, look, there's the cave right there already. Oh, I remember now. Yeah, there's some more places to the right. Alright, well, let's go take care of this double battle first. Um, I don't know. I might consider ending... I don't know. Hey, funny old man lives in the show cave. Someone told me. Are you going to see him too? Alright, well, it's a double battle. I swear, why do they always look like they, they, they see me and they think there's a spider on my head? They're like, ah! And they're like, oh my gosh, it looks dangerous. There's the girl on the right that's saying that. <laughs> Swablu and Nummel. All right, this should be an easy match. Why is Nummel more leveled up? I don't understand. All right, let's go with Flamethrower on you, and let's just surf everything. Let's muddy water. It's it's pretty much poop water, because it's literally brown water that's, that's coming onto them. 
Oh, yay, Swablu's burnt. It does have natural cure. Oh, Swablu dodges it. Okay, that's cool. Yep, brown water. Is it the same power surf, though? It's the same animation. It's, like I said, it's just brown, though. Aerial Ace, okay. Well, I do believe I need to switch my Pokemon to a different one because you're coming up on... Well, basically, Carmen is <laughs> level 39, which is why the reason I want to switch. Um, there shouldn't be that much trainers left, though. Wendy's level 33. That's cool. Kim and Chris? I thought we win! Oh, just one of them said something. Alright. Let's go switch Cartman with, uh, yeah, Jimmy's fine because that'll help out against those water-type Pokemon. Alright, so that is Shoal Cave. That's what the lady said. Um, there should be nothing up here. So let's go to the right side. I was wondering why that l one lady down there that I battled, like, did a complete U-turn. Well, she was, like, going in squares or something. But it's kind of, it's kind of interesting. Well, not interesting. I just find it weird. Interesting in a weird way, you know what I'm trying to say. So yeah, it's all this space. Um, alright. I, I, I just... Are you new? I think you're new, because the other lady... She looks the same as you, but... Should be the same, right? I'm trying to swing! Are you up in battle with me? <clears throat> alright. They kind of remind me of Misty, just a little bit. A love disc? Are you serious? You got a love disc. By the way, all the Pokemon that... Uh, um, there's no new Pokemon ever since we left and started surfing everywhere. I'm kind of curious to see what a flamethrower does. I'm surprisingly faster than a love disc, because love disc is known for its speed. And that's kind of interesting. And I burned you. I... Why isn't there a special variation? Because if you don't know, burning a Pokemon actually drops their attack by half. But there's no special variation of that. So if you were to, I don't know, if you were to poison a Pokemon, it wouldn't, um, it wouldn't drop their special attack, you know? So there should be a special variation of that. Let me just get a quick attack again. It's kind of interesting that I love to use Takedown, of all things, because it literally did 5 damage because of the burnt. You're too much! Alright, so I'm gonna go up here in the middle because I want that item. Ah! He turned! Why would a bird keeper like me come out to the sea? Uh, at least it's more experience for Nine Tails, I guess. But doesn't he get more experience in double battles because since he's holding the thing, you know, it's Presley. Oh, we found Elvis. That's cool. Where have you been? And why do you have a grass type in the water or whatever? I don't know. Alright, flamethrower. This should absolutely destroy you. At least we're on par with the rest of these Pokemon. Burn? Oh, no burn. Whirlwind! Okay. Electrode. Alright, that's cool. Let's go Shockwave. This would have done neutral damage regardless, but this should kill. I just want to show off Shockwave. Alright. At least it's more experience. So, Zatu. We'll go with Windy right quick. And, uh, yeah. Alright, Zatu right here. Let's go with flamethrower action. Um, but I didn't even start talking about the next type. We were supposed to talk about, uh, psychic type Pokemon, just like the one in front of us. Um, so, psychic type is pretty much the opposite of... I need to heal my Pokemon? I, I, I'm pretty sure flamethrower should kill. It's like half damage. Psychic type Pokemon are the opposite of fighting type Pokemon because they always tend to be special and oh, it's Presley just defeated. Okay, I'll tell you why I'm here. Oh, let's go see what he has to say. Oh, never mind. Hey, was it you throwing garbage into the sea? Well, I'm not Jimmy Neutron's dad because if you don't know, there was an episode where Jimmy was just on the lake and and his dad just came out of nowhere as Oron. I like that name. That's a pretty cool name. Uh, Jimmy Neutron's dad is like, Oh, hey, Skippo! I was just here, uh, throwing the garbage away. Oh, Dad, you've been throwing the garbage in the lake? Uh, yes, I've been doing it for ten years, son. Or something like that. I don't know. It was something non- Some nonsense like that. Um, but yeah. <sighs> you roared me. 
It, was that the whole double team thing all along? Was the whole roaring thing? I'm gonna mirror code because I want you to thunder move me such or something. Um, I believe in Timmy. I was gonna say I'm gonna use Timmy more often in single battles because I've been using Timmy more often in double battles. Oh, never mind. All right, we're gonna go with Jimmy, I guess. Let's go with the uh, rollout. Hopefully, it doesn't roar me again. At least this will get more. Um, oh, okay. I guess we're not going to roll out anymore. All right, we're back to the front. All right, let's go with flamethrower, I suppose. <laughs> oh, jeez. What's going on? Spark. All right. Well, at least, hopefully, I don't get paralyzed. Quick attack. All right. Um. I, I did say I was going to use Wobbuffet more often in single battles because I've been using him more often in double battles and such like that. Mud Champ! You shouldn't know Rock Slide. That's only like a lead force status type of thing. You you did kill me, however, last time when you were just a Mud Choke. So I'm just going to do that now. Why do you have a Mud Champ already? Revenge. Uh, okay. Don't burn, please. Because I'm pretty sure he has guts. Either way, I need to continue my thought on psychic type Pokemon. Basically, they're the opposite of fighting type Pokemon. They tend to be special. And there's a couple of physical psychic type Pokemon, just like Gallade, that I like to mention. And, um, and other psychic fighting type like Metacham. And I think Metagross is physical. Uh, yeah, there's, there's more uh, physical psychic type Pokemon than there is special fighting type Pokemon. Um, which is kind of interesting. So, Psychic type Pokemon are weak against Dark type, Bug type, and Ghost type Pokemon. Um, in Generation 1, it was kind of weird because they said Ghost type was like their only weakness. Well, technically, Bug type was at the time too, but the strongest Bug type move was actually just Pin Missile. So, um, when the anime days mentioned the old Ghost type Pokemon, if you get a Ghost type Pokemon, you just Sabrina will stand no chance against you was kind of baloney because Ghastly Hunter and Gengar are ghost poison types and Alakazam outspeeds and if you psychic a Gengar is pretty frail when it comes to super effective moves so yeah oh you weren't throwing trash into the sea no I wasn't all right let's go get this item we found a big pearl okay we can go sell that all right uh, I'm gonna go towards the left side I'm gonna try to avoid encounters because I don't want encounters pretty much. Um, so yeah, uh, psychic type Pokemon are. Could you could you just come over here just for a second? They're strong against a whole bunch of types like poison types, fighting types. Hey there, check out my sweet Pokemon. Poison types, uh, fighting types. Is that it? That can't be it. What the heck? I guess that's it. But, well, either way, in Generation 1, they always, like, wreck havoc. I'm going to confuse Rayu first. Hopefully you hit yourself. Um, yeah, that's what it tends to be, really. It's just... Generation 1 was always overpowered, and I don't know. With Psychic-type Pokemon, that did a lot of damage. Oh, my gosh. Let's go with another super potion. I'm kind of tempted. What, what, what is this? Wait, do I have any more soda pops or did I use them all? I think I used them all. I should buy more soda pops. Soda pops. I would like to use. Um, well, I need. Uh, I, I need to use super potions. Could you hit yourself, please? Um. Dang. What was I gonna say? Yeah, psychic type Pokemon in Generation 1 was overpowered because whenever there was a psychic type Pokemon, they tend to outspeed things, except for like Hypno and Mr. Mime. Jinx was actually pretty decently fast, so it wasn't, um, you know, out there, you know. Um, it was always like this, and, you know, Espeon's really fast, and, oh, Twister, that's a dragon move. Pretty much that's about it. Um, but psychic types, I guess that's all their strengths. Their resistances, they're resisted against like fighting type moves. Uh, I, f I floundered 
something. Oh, I know the reason why psychic types are overpowered. It's because back then in Generation 1, uh, the physical special split wasn't a thing, and there was no special defense because special attack and special defense were one, so it was just called special. Is that it for the top? Oh, jeez, that's it for the top. I guess that's it. And that's all I wanted to talk about psychic type Pokemon anyway. I don't remember much about the resistances. And I guess that's it. I'll be down. Alright, well, let's keep looking just to make sure that we take care of everybody. It's already like a 45 minute episode. Next episode shouldn't be that long, to be honest. So, don't worry about all that. I'm just gonna go switch into Tentacle. Or Tentacle? Jimmy! When it's switch into Jimmy. <clears throat> um, yeah. <laughs> let's go with the Thunderbolt, I guess. Is that really all that they're resisted against is fighting types? I don't know. They're resistant also on... I guess that's it. I don't know. That's mainly the reason why for the whole thing. Oh, jeez, it started over. That should be all of them because I, I tried to see if there was any up there, but I guess not. Alright, is there any items? Well, I guess that's it. So if you like this episode, don't forget to press that like button. If you really like this episode, please consider subscribing. If you haven't considered subscribing yet, please watch another one of my videos. I play the video games, and if you like video games, you might like my stuff. So in the next episode, we are going to explore Moss Deep City, and then we're going to see what's forward through that, and maybe go get ourselves started in the 7th gym, because this city has a 7th gym badge, and I'm ready to go get it. To go wrap up to our story, so um, I pretty much was finished in the Psychic Type category anyway. So yeah, join the White Tigers and Dragons, and White Tigers and Dragons to you.